today. Let me get out my thing so we get better lighting there. Maybe a little bit better. I don't know. Today, I am going to be working on the makeup for an OC I am doing for TikTok. Now, if you don't know, TikTok is basically like Vine, but for nerds. Which, I mean, yes. Hi. I'm a nerd. <laughs> now, currently, there is a trend going on for the Hogwarts Professors tag and a Professors of Ilvermorny tag. I am doing a Professor of Ilvermorny. The professor's name is Sol Lovegood. Sol as in solar. She is the, they are the cousin of Luna Lovegood and they are gender fluid. And they teach uh, intro to wand making, which at Ilvermorny, if I remember correctly from the story online, they uh, make their own wands. But uh, they also, I'm also doing a uh, head of the newspaper club because school newspaper, I thought it might be fun to do something like that. I mean, I kind of always wanted to start a school newspaper, but I never had enough people to start one. <laughs> so, I'm going to be head of the newspaper club for this tag. And so uh, right now, I've got my hair done and how one of the main ways I'm going to have my hair for this character. It'll be up sometimes and down sometimes. And then white tank top and an overshirt shirt is going to be my normal outfit. So now this video is about my makeup. Now if you want to follow me on TikTok, I will put my I will put my at below, but it's fairy like F A How do I spell it? I have a hard time, like, spelling things out loud. I have to... Yeah. Okay. F-A-E-R-I-E -E underscore cat. C-A-T. So. But I'll also put my at down below. Here. Actually, I'll see if I can actually get the uh, link. Since I... And... So I can, do do do. Oh yeah, I can add it to my little note that has. I have a note on my phone that has my links and everything, and uh, I copy and paste from that to put in my description for my videos. So now it's on there, kind of just right there, between my skincare Instagram and my PayPal. So it'll be in the description box below. Yes, and now I feel like I'm talking way too much, probably. So let's get into the makeup. This makeup is going to be super simple in general just so I can recreate it a lot. However, sometimes I will add other elements. Like, the main portion will be just a little bit of primer, foundation, liner, and mascara. Sometimes I might add some shadow, some blush, and some lipstick. But, as a whole, the main look will be very basic, so. Just starting with some primer. This is just my e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And I'm just using my hands to spread it. And really just gently putting it under my eyelids as well. Get it in around my nose. It feels very weird for me to wear primer, but I'm starting to try to do it more often. 
And sometimes I'm probably not gonna do fa the foundation part, but because I'm having a little bit of stress related and probably hormone related breakouts right now. Like here, 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 here. There's one here, here. Today I am definitely going for. And my hair seems to be, you know, more prominent today. At least to me. I might also do something with my eyebrows, but I don't know yet. Now I think I might use Where Are You? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh dear lord. I will be back. Okay, and I am back with my now clean beauty sponge. I kind of just leave it loose in my bag and I sometimes forget that some of my eyeshadows, the palettes are broken and stuff and there's kind of been eyeshadow floating around inside my bag for a while. So I'm just, you know, trying to get a little bit, maybe a dime size amount at most, but probably not a foundation, which is just, you know, my normal matte plus poreless porcelain foundation and damp beauty sponge. Just go a little bit at a time and blend out. And I'm starting the main points of where the foundation is going right on the worst of the acne problems for me today. Just so they maybe become a little bit less visible. I am really just using a tiny amount of foundation. Now, under normal circumstances, you look at my face, face it seems a little darker than this foundation. But if you compare it to my chest and my neck, it works. I don't necessarily get it, but... Oh. Cannot forget this ear. How dare I? And do do do. Ta-da! Now that part is all done. And I used all of it, and it was just a tiny amount. It's not super thick coverage. You can still kind of see if you're looking for it. So Now I'm just going to put a little bit of powder on my more oily type areas. So, and maybe a little bit on my cheeks. Do, do, do. And this is just the matching Fit Me Porcelain Powder. Just a tiny, tiny bit on my cheek. I'm also going to put a little bit on my eyelids because I do put foundation on there. And then on my forehead. Yeah, I don't... My cheeks tend to get pretty oily too, that's why I do my cheeks too, but my center of the face not so much usually, I'm just kind of trying to set things and just use up all the powder on my brush right now, and just gently patting it in. Okay. Now, for lips, I'm just going to keep it simple, and I'm going to just use a lip gloss. Just 
This is a, a chocolatey lip gloss. It has nothing on the true chocolate flavor, but it does add a nice tint to it. And I just kind of wanted the tint today. Now I'm going to go in with an itty bitty liner brush once they find it in my bag. Where are you? Do -do -do -do. Ha ha! And a brown eyeshadow. Well, not really a brown, but. Kind of this taupey color right here. And this is from Hard Candy from a Christmas thing. And yeah, I am a natural blonde, so why my eyebrows are as dark as they are, I do not understand. But I'm just adding this taupey color to it to kind of undo a little bit of what was done with the uh, foundation. In the words of Nerdy Jackie, Nerdy Crafter, English number one. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna take a simple pencil black eyeliner. This is a CoverGirl a Think Tattoo Liner. I don't know. It has a little smudgy thing on the one end. I'm not going to do the flick of the wrist for this one today, but sometimes I will do a liquid eyeliner and give a wing, but that is not my mood today, so it's not happening. And I just realized here, this is going to be the first edited video that I've done in a while since I had that little you know I had to go wash my beauty sponge because I didn't do it beforehand because I didn't think about it now I'm going to take the smudgy in and that kind of possibly needs clean uh, why do people think I'm good at this I am a bad influence, not cleaning my things. Ooh. I'm just doing that. And you see right here is my normal like beauty mark, but right here is a zit, so I don't know if I want to accentuate that or not today. Let's go with not. And I'm just going, I'm using Great Lash Maybelline Waterproof Mascara. Because what's a look without mascara, all right? We are done so if y'all want to see more of this character follow me on TikTok the link will be down below hope you enjoy